Hey campers, Reverend Lunch Lady here. Um, today, uh, I just got the file from the security um, breaking the wicked strict rules breach that happened the other day. And I know you guys are all having so much fun at camp and I really don't want this to be a downer because, you know, we have rules because we know how important it is for you to feel safe and secure in order for you to find love. And so, you know, we put these in place and unfortunately, some of you aren't interested in uh, following the rules. So, um, you know, the investigation's been going on last couple days. The security's been driving me crazy. They're acting kind of weird. They've been asking me a lot of questions. They won't look me in the eye. I don't know what's going on, but we finally have an answer. So I'm really relieved and I'm sorry, you know, uh, to, to interrupt your day with this. But um, you know what, no matter what happens, I love you guys. I love you guys. And, um, you know, a little disappointing breaking the rules, but, um, you know, I care. Uh, so like, let's just get this over with. Um, I will say that, you know, there's going to be some disciplinary action. I'm sure you're not surprised. So, um, to be known, you know, we're, I, I, I I mean, I'm with you. I, I don't I don't even know what's going on. So uh, let's just go ahead and look at the file, figure out what's happening here. Um, go ahead and uh, put it in the um, VCR here. Um, open it up. Uh, Okay, camp security, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, snake and kittens. Oh, I figure, you know, they're so sneaky. They were so... Oh, what do you mean innocent? Oh, okay, well, they don't have to be All of the Jennifer's in there, they're, they're wild ladies. Innocent? Are you kidding me? How is that possible? Well then, duh, duh, it's gorgeous gals. Yeah, right. this is what I suspected. I figured this. Totally, totally. Yeah, they're all... What? What do you mean? I that Are you kidding? You've been bugging me all this time, and then I'm like stressing out about it and spending all this time, and now the whole kid. What? What are you talking about? What What do you mean? Busted with my picture? What, for lunch lady? What do you mean, lunch lady? Are you, no, no. Evidence of shenanigans and rule breaking, talking on the banana phone with Lizard in intention to rule break. You did not record my conversation. Oh, hey, Stu. Oh my God. I was thinking we could all get together tonight. What do you think? Yeah, just get the, some of the girls together. Security, are you kidding? Yeah, maybe we could just... I don't know, I just sort of feel like streaking over to Camp Kinky. God. Camp Kinky? Yeah, they have an amazing... I can't believe it. Huge hot tub in the woods. Who did this? Yeah. I don't know. Oh my gosh. In my office. And there's so many cuties over there. Well, that's true. Yeah. We'll just go after taps. I'm the camp director. Can I do that? No, I don't think we should bring any dogs. I love dogs. Don't They're just such dogs. tattletales. Miss Chubby Texas tells me. And cats are kind of bitchy. I love cats, but... I don't know. Smushy and Madame. Madame and Smushy have been, like, yeah. totally ignoring me. I'm just kind of over them. Seriously, you guys. Yeah, well... I can explain. Yo, oh, we can bring the pig. Yeah, Zelda. I love her. She's Ollie, so cute. Ollie. Yeah. Oh, and no yeah, totally the bunnies. Yeah. yeah. Duffy and Lolo. Lola. Yeah. Love the bunnies. They're, they're, they're cool. Yeah, just the cool kids. 
It's not yeah. like the other ones aren't cool. Oh, oh my god, I do love bugles. Oh my god, they're so delicious. I do love bugles. I could totally get some. But I don't trust. I'll have Gidget go out and get us some from the corner store. Yeah. Just like a case full. Yeah, I love putting them on my fingers and then like crunching them all oh my off. Oh, God. No. I didn't say that. I know it's a rule. You know how I don't do rules. Rules are stupid. Yeah. Oh, my God. I can explain. Okay. All right. Well, that's me tonight. Yeah. Are you, I mean, I know you wear that cute little pink hat, but if we're going to go streaking, you're going to have to take it all off. You know what I'm saying? Tell the bunnies in Zelda, too. Okay. okay, see you there. What? You did not post a naked picture of me. Are you kidding me? You put this in the fire? I didn't even know we had a camera over there. Oh my god. But look, it's not just me. It's Stuart the Lizard. It's funny. It's like so close to my director's cover. Hardly even going in there. Okay, I love the Barnard game. It's fun doing animal noises at night. It's hilarious. We needed five bags of beers. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so embarrassed. This is so embarrassing. This is so humiliating. My only security team. What? What do you mean, pig intelligence? What? Ollie? Oh. No. Zelda! Well, okay, Ollie. I thought your name was Zelda. You told on us? Oh my gosh. I can't even handle this. I need to... You guys, listen to me. I can explain. I can't. I can't watch this. Okay. No. No more. This is ridiculous. This is humiliating. I... Stop. 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 Okay. Okay. So I know. Okay. Now, I know you're probably really disappointed in me. Okay, some of you might not even forgive me. And some of you might be like, what are you talking about? You made us follow all those rules, and now you can't even follow the rules? Can I be really honest with you? Here's the thing. Like, I don't really believe in the rules. I mean... You know, the truth is that if we have to have rules in our personal life, if we have to have rules around who it is we like, how we engage with people or, or who we know is right for us, then really, like, what's the point, you know? I mean, what I know about rules, here's the thing. What I know about rules is in dating and in love, when we are looking at an external thing to like make decisions for us, or we're looking at something that tell, will tell us, oh, well, this is right and this is wrong, then guess what? We're judging ourselves and we are not even connected with our own truth. So what is, so my, my, message here is that you know you have everything you need to know inside and if everything you need if if you know streaking is right for you in that moment like then do it you know if you know sharing something about you feels right in that moment then do it if you sense that there's something more for you with someone and or you're you're interested in someone and yet everything that you've known before has said no that's not right then do it the only thing that's going to keep you from you are the fears the insecurities the self-doubt 
the old anger, the old stories, like all of that stuff, if you have loads and loads and loads of that, then yes, you probably need some rules. But the honest truth is if you are willing to go beyond that and, and if you take the things from love camp, like the opening up to more possibilities, the acknowledgement, the choice, the, um, the, all the celebrating of you, this kind of awareness, then, then that is your guidance. But I will say, you know, that's an honest, vulnerable conversation with you. What is it that distracts you and keeps you from love? And if you are in that space where you feel like you're constantly distracted by these kinds of fears and worries and insecurities, then I do recommend that you get support. So, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I broke the rules, but I'll tell you, you know, the other night, like all I wanted to do was just be free. Have you ever felt like that? Like that you just want to be like free and crazy and chaotic. And you know what? That's what's so cool about love is that we get this chance to have this like giddy excitement and, and, and let go of our worries and rest into being with someone who adores us and it's just it's not controlled it's not full of rules it's 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 beyond it's wild it's sexy it's crazy it's fun and that's my vision for you is that you can have all of that which is just like the deliciousness of being in life so you know what I'm sorry I had rules like that. And, you know, maybe there are some that we still want to keep. I mean, although I like bugles, I still don't like crunching. And, okay, right? Um, so, <sighs> thank you for being here. And I hope you forgive me. And I am here for you. I am here in service of your love story. I believe in you and I believe in your love story. And I want you to have the kind of unicorn love that is far surpassing anything that you probably even see with your friends or with your parents or from your past. This is something else. This is beyond. This is the phenomenal beyond this reality kind of love that you deserve. And if you're here, you're meant to have that. So if you want that, reach out to me. Let's have a conversation and let's talk about what you need to do to create that in your life. And let's talk about what's possible. So message me. We'll have a little swing set conversation about what it takes to have the love that you deserve in 2020. I am so excited for you. And this is my mission. My mission is to have more love on the planet. My mission is that when we're in love, we can create more. My mission is that when we're in love, we receive more and we can do all of that right now. So, <sighs> thanks for being here. You're the best. I love you guys.